So we have a pile of orders over here. I'm gonna print the labels probably tomorrow because it's gonna take me about two hours. I've just been sorting out this case. It's pretty much a storage container. I've been using it as a storage container for a long time. So over on this side, I have uh, all of my substrates and um, this carrier for Bluebell. If you're wondering where it's from, it's on Pets at Home. I always get questions about this. And then I've just been organizing all of the stuff that I have for my shop. Um, I keep things like, as you can see, beads and other bits that I use to make my chew toys. There's some more beads in here. I need to fill up the jars. And this packaging is gonna go into here. So it's looking a lot better than it was a couple of months ago. And now that I've got all the stuff that I was storing for the bead boxes out of here, there's a lot more space. Before I would get a clip of Bluebell for the vlog. She's absolutely loving her bee setup. If you guys haven't seen the video when I set up her cage, I'll have it linked down below in the description. So these are all of the orders I packed yesterday. So I've just went ahead and separated them all. So over here, we've got all UK parcels. Over here, we've got three uh, just regular international orders. This big pile are UK bee boxes. And then we've got a small pile down here, which is international. time I'm showing myself in this vlog. I'm in a bit of a rush because my sister's actually taken me to the post office today. She's just outside now and um, you guys would have seen over the past two days I've been packing orders and printing out labels and stuff for them and um, I'm just getting them ready to be sent out. This is the first bunch of orders I packed since I opened my shop last week Tuesday. I was really unwell last week so I didn't manage to pack and post orders last week so I'm feeling a tiny bit better now so I've just been working on them and yeah so I'm sending them all out today apart from two. I've got two really big ones there which are being sent as tracked and I've got way too many parcels to carry today for me to bring those two big ones. So I'm going to sort them out in a couple of days but I've had over 50 orders so thank you so much to you guys who've purchased from my shop. It means a lot. I'll have my Etsy store linked in the description if you want to go ahead and check it out and um, yeah so I'm actually going to work after. I've got work at 10.30 today. It's coming up to nine o'clock and I've got work at the uh, RSPCA charity shop because I'm working there part-time. I do four days a week, 25 hours and this is my first day back at work because I've been really unwell with my um dental problems so i've got a lot of bags to carry down with me so wish me luck because i've got like five really big bags and i'll film what i can for you guys because i'm actually filming a weekly vlog so i'm cross filming so hopefully i don't get too confused So I'm just about to leave out for work. I've got a half day today because um, I do half days on Thursday and Friday so I don't start until 12.45. This is a bag I'm gonna be bringing with me. Just packed up my um, ASOS return because I'm gonna be going to the post office again today. I'm gonna be bringing a bag of orders with me to work. And yesterday when I got to work, my manager saw that I had a bunch of parcels and she was like, oh, are you going to the post office today? And I was like, yeah, I was gonna go on my break. And she was like, oh, that's good because you can do the banking for me because with the shops, someone has to do the banking every day. So I might actually end up going to the post office before I actually start work because um, I ended up doing that yesterday. morning you guys um i'm just about to head out to work so i can't talk to you for too long but this is probably the worst studio vlog i've ever done i started filming it a couple of weeks ago and i wanted to film the process of me um uh well basically i closed my shop for like two months and i reopened it and the clips from the start of this vlog was from like two three weeks ago when i reopened my shop and i was packing the first lot of orders um and i was also packaging my b subscription boxes which should have been out in like july but because i've had like so much on i ended up having to release them a bit later than i had planned and this studio vlog has been a bit of a fail it's probably the worst studio vlog I've ever done. And it's just because I haven't really put a lot of time and a lot of effort into it. 
and uh, it's, it's simply because I'm so 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 busy at the moment and I'm working a part-time job four days a week um, so I'm actually getting ready to go to work today um, so yeah I'm working there Sunday Monday Thursday and Friday so I'm really busy and I'm also filming weekly vlogs as well so they take more of a priority over my studio vlogs um, and what end up and what ends up happening is I have to cross film so then it gets a bit confusing filming two videos at once and then I'm not really sure what I filmed for what um, video if that makes sense so I feel like because I prioritise my weekly vlogs um, the last couple of clips for this vlog hasn't really made much sense and I only recently started editing the clips for this vlog a couple of days ago kind of hard to gauge like to get like a proper feel of this video to see like what i could add on to it and whatnot so it's just been i don't know i'm not really happy of how this video has turned out and at the moment i just don't really have much time for my shop um i've got a lot of things which i need to restock and i just you know there's just not enough hours in the day to get all of it done i tend to just pack orders on a tuesday and then i post orders on a thursday and friday so um, i'm going to be bringing some orders to work with me today and i'm going to post them off um just before i start work because i do the banking for my shop for the shop as well and usually on a tuesday i pack orders in the morning and then sometimes um, I end up going out with a friend or something like early evening to like late at night just because I'm so sick of being at home all the time especially like every single night I'm just at home by myself it gets a bit boring and normally a Wednesday is like a day where I like to like get editing done and then Saturday um, I'm either out with a friend or doing um, housework or editing and other bits and bobs so I generally don't really have time to be filming packing orders and business related stuff because I only really dedicate Tuesday morning to that and I just sort of rush to try and get these orders packed and out of the way so I can do other bits and bobs um so it's just all a bit of a rush really um and that's why this vlog has been a bit of a fail <laughs> a little bit of a letdown so I'm really sorry if you guys enjoy my studio vlogs and this one was just a little bit all over the place but I'll try and make sure that my next one is a bit better I normally sort of plan them out a little bit so I'm like on this day I can do this or I can open this or I have this to show or I'm gonna film like this and that um but yeah this vlog wasn't really thought through I do hope you still like enjoyed it anyway I'll give you guys a quick overview of the drawers at the moment there's a lot of stuff that I need to restock at some point. So this top drawer is pretty much the same. We just got food dishes, which I do need to order some more of. Got some bunny spoons and the carrot spoons. I have got some more of these bunny spoons. Um, then I've just got my milkshake um, enamel pins, if you can see that. And I've got some milkshake acrylic pins and then there's some stickers back there, but they're not really that popular on my uh, Etsy. I need to restock the paw print cookies. Um, because there's like only one of each left. Um, the dandelion root, I need to package up some more because I do have some more. I need to bake some more coconut OG nibbles. These are original OG nibbles. Um, I'll probably need to restock on these at some point. I've got some Whimsy's chews which I need to package up. Um, and then this last straw down here which isn't very organized so over in this section it's just like two toys and as you can see i don't have many made up so i end up having to make them just before i pack the order and then those shoes back there are um they're going to be discontinued so once i sell out of these remaining four um i won't be making any more for a while just so it's a bit easier and then i can make space for other products so i know it's coming up to autumn and i had planned for making some like autumnal garlands and then also some halloween themed garlands and um all of that kind of stuff and i also need to change bluebell's um cage up as well i want to give her a halloween theme and then an autumnal theme and then a christmas theme so i'm probably still going to do like her cage and stuff but i wanted that to coincide with my shop um, but I haven't even had a chance to re fully restock my shop when I reopened and I haven't had a chance to do that since and I've seen like so many businesses talking about autumn and Christmas and I'm just so behind this year um, but I'm just doing what I can with my shop at the moment. With my 
job I'm working in an RSPCA charity shop it's just um, part it's just part time 25 hours a week do four days and I'm only going to be there until the start of January and then I'll be able to focus on my shop full time again and then I'll have like the whole week to do what I want to do if that makes sense and plan out my days whereas with work I'm having to plan everything around the days I work which is it's a bit of a struggle I'm trying to do YouTube my business work have a social life and at the moment I don't even have a day off because every single day I'm doing something um but yeah so I'm gonna stop rambling now and I am gonna go ahead and end this vlog here hope you enjoyed watching it and um I'll see you guys in my next video so bye for now